Hello everyone, it's Jesse here. 11 18 2015, 11 36 p.m. Vlogging a little late today. Um, my hair is back in a ponytail. No, I haven't cut it. You can't see it, you just see my beard. Um, it needs. I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. What am I gonna do? After uh, on the 1st of January, it'll be a year. I've done it from January 1st, I'm gonna do it to January 1st. It'll be a year of growth uh, without trimming without anything what do you guys think I should do tell me in the comments below um, I have lots of people saying don't don't ever cut your hair don't ever cut your beard grow it out as long as you want as long as you can then I have people on the other side saying your beard look you look like a uh, oh I won't go into the names they they call me but that people call me all kinds of names and um, there's people that think I'm just just I'm dirty and I'm um, I don't I smell and my beard smells which it doesn't of course because I take a bath on the daily or if I ever skip a day I always make sure I don't I don't skip very often only when I'm like sick or completely completely drained of energy but that's normal and there's these people that are just so rude and mean mean about my beard and shit and they call me uh all kinds of names I won't go into the names thanks for eating during my video itty bitty I appreciate it you know, I never can seem to get a, like a, a normal video without any any sa extra sounds and shit. I'm gonna try to keep this video as positive as possible. Um, I hope this family comes through with Itty Bitty. If if not, I know somebody else that wants her, so hopefully I can get in touch with them and they can make it up here if they can. Um, she is getting to the point now where she is uh, kind of roughhousing with me and biting on me and <laughs> teething and just driving me up the wall um just a puppy play and I don't have any toys because all of my adult dogs if I give them toys they take them outside out back and they just get wet and just get destroyed so I stopped buying toys for dogs because it's just a waste of money and I don't have any toys in here for her to chew on or anything I guess I should have thought about that and bought some some toys for the puppies to play with but this will be my last litter of puppies. Thank the heavens. But anyways, um, I got a little bit of a situation. It's been brewing for about two weeks. I'm gonna try to keep this as positive as possible, but this situation is gonna piss me off, and I'm probably gonna curse, but I'm not gonna apologize for cursing. Uh, blame my parents. Every other word that came out of their mouth while I was raised was a curse word. So there you go. There. Plus, I think saying the F word these days is kind of like saying hello, but, you know, whatever. Um, okay, my oven. First of all, my apartment is small. Even though this room looks fast, it is quite large, my living room, because it's the biggest, it is, it's, it's the biggest room in my apartment. The only reason you see this, um, see that right there, the wall is there. The only reason it's there is because that right there is was originally there there was a right there all the way across there was that much there already so we had to use studs and we had to make the wall there or else we had to tear it all down and move the wall further this way so the my bedroom would be bigger so we decided to opt for the cheaper option and just make that the start of the bedroom so my bedroom's not huge but it's and it's not small tiny but it's not as big as this living room freaking bugs um so my kitchen is even smaller my kitchen is behind my bedroom and mom came over to cook about two and a half, two weeks two and a half weeks ago and I hollered at her no before she even after she walked through the door the first thing I said to her was mom Make sure there's nothing in the oven before you turn it on and make sure there's nothing on the vent. Uh, the, the back burner has a vent for the oven. Make sure there's nothing on it. No plastic, no pans, no covers, nothing. Make sure there's nothing in the oven when you, before you turn it on. Well, let's just say she was had through a few back and well, I was trying to keep this positive as possible, but I'm telling you the truth. She, threw a few, th she had thrown a few back and she didn't pay attention to what I was saying and she turned the oven on like 400 degrees and 
uh, she was in there about 30 minutes and you know preparing the meat and what have you and um, then she put the meat in and she, and I smelt it but I was like damn she must be using some spices I don't know of um, so she come back and she said it was gonna take like an hour to cook so I was like okay did you set the timer she said yes well I checked no she didn't set the timer either but she went over back over to her her place her, you know her spot in the building and I got to smell on this thing and I got to get in a headache real quick and it was like what in the hell is she cooking is the shit rotten or something what happened was she didn't tell me this she left she went back over there said everything's fine it'll be cooking for an hour she didn't tell me that she left a plastic contact lid in the oven and it melted down to the bottom of the oven so there's a patch about that big of plastic underneath the burner like on the side of the oven and underneath the burner so now when you turn the oven on all you can smell is the plastic burning and it's that type of smell that is like you there's something seriously wrong type of smell not just plastic burning but like a seriously type of wrong smell that really 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 gives you a bad bad headache and I've tried everything in the world I can to, to get the plastic out I've used knives I've used forks I've used I sprayed a little bit of some spray it's not oven cleaner but some spray on it didn't that didn't help budget at all so I don't know what to do guys what do I need to do I need you out there that are watching that that may have an, an answer for me please leave it in the comments below because do I need to turn the take everything out of the oven uh, take the racks out turn the oven on high let's skip it jumping through getting trying to get into my bedroom uh, do I need to turn the oven on high endure the smell and take something and try to scrape it off if the plastic gets hot enough to move it's movable is that my only option is there something that's out there that I can spray on it that'll take it off I, can't, I don't have the money to replace my oven guys at all I don't have the money to replace an oven and nobody's gonna buy an oven for me my even my wealthy family will not buy an oven for me they barely give me any money to live on that you know I thank them for that anyways but they barely even help me out to live and they won't even help me fix my door for a year so like what what am I supposed to do is there some kind of something that I can spray on it you mainly you probably you women are probably the ones that know the most but if there's guys out there that know too please leave a comment in the comment below I don't know what to do guys I need my oven I need it because mom always wants to cook meat and she's always I like healthy meat so I like to bake it and I have not been able to use the oven for two weeks and that's not a good thing even though I don't have any food right now to cook that's beside the point but we need the oven and we cannot I cannot let that plastic just stay there and permeate the entire apartment and make me sick because it made me literally my head pounding and I was physically sick from the smell so I mean you can imagine I don't know why Skip is whining in the background probably because she saw that baby mouse the other night going into the, this one little place she thinks she can get the baby mouse out but she can't anyways um, please leave me a comment below as to what y'all would do uh, maybe what you have a solution for me because I really need it I need my oven guys it's the only way we can cook healthy meat is really the oven um because I don't like frying it I don't have a gallbladder anymore so it's hard for me to process uh, foods anyways so I need my oven I need to bake chicken before I let you go, uh, I tried to keep it on positive as much as I possibly could, but um, before I let you go, I found out that there was a couple of people um, that live in this county that are now watching my YouTube videos. I think they have been watching for a while, but they have just now commented. Um, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I subbed to y'all. 
And uh, we live in a crazy county. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but we live in a crazy county in Arkansas. Not the best of counties. <laughs> um, y'all, I don't know exactly how y'all, uh, your life is in up, up county, but my life down county is not too great. But, um, you know, that's just the way it is. It's the way the cookie crumbles. And so, but thank you. Uh, y'all are the first ones from this county to watch me besides my family which I have instructed to not watch me because my my videos are not designed or toward uh, for, for my family to watch because sometimes I give a dose of truth and they don't they can't handle it so I tell them just leave my videos the fuck alone go away so and I've blocked I've blocked my mom like three times she's created a profile like three times she like wants to watch my videos so bad because she knows I talk about her sometimes and I do talk about her sometimes but I never lie I tell the truth she don't like me telling the truth it always gets her pissed off anyways how, how long have I been talking 11 minutes um anyways thanks guys you Pike Villians I don't know what else to call ourselves here in Pike County but um some I had made a comment on somebody's video and they were like do you know where the Grand Old Opry is? Because I said that um, I was going, I drove to Nashville to shop, and I think it had to do with you guys, uh, the you guys that live in Pike County. Um, someone had said, "Do you know where the Grand Old Opry is?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's about like three, four hundred miles away from me." And they were like, "Oh, I just wanted to take my wife there." I'm like, "It's in Nashville, Tennessee, not Nashville, Arkansas," which is really odd. There's a really, this is really, I don't know if it anywhere else in the United States has happened. Thanks for bombing the video, Eddie B. I appreciate it. Just eat it. Piggle it out. Just eat it up. Um, there is a... Okay, there's a Nashville, Arkansas, and there's a Nashville, Tennessee. About 15 miles from Nashville, Tennessee, is a town called Murfreesboro. Spelled exactly like this one. We are... This Murfreesboro is 12 miles from Nashville, Arkansas. So there's like 12 miles from between Nashville and Murfreesboro, Arkansas, and there's about 15 miles between Nashville and Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I don't know if that happens anywhere else in the world or in uh, the United States, but it's kind of an interesting fact. But most people, when I say Murfreesboro, they think I'm talking about Tennessee because it's so close to. And Murfreesboro, Tennessee is a lot bigger of a town than Murfreesboro, Arkansas. We only have like 12, 1,300 people here. Murfreesboro, Tennessee has like thousands, I think. So, anyways, that's just a little interesting tidbit. I guess I'm going to let you go now. And you're... Oh, an update. I do talk a little bit fast, but um, people wonder how I, I, I'm able to like go through my watch later list so quickly. I use the times two speed. Because I can, I can listen and hear everything everybody says, but I use it to times two speed, and it decreases the amount. Like, say the vlog is 13 minutes long, well, it takes about five and a half minutes to watch, or so, you know, something like that, um, or six and six minutes, whatever, six and six minutes, 15 seconds, something like that. But anyways, um, I watch, I use the times two setting. So if you want to use the times two setting on my vlogs, go ahead. But I'm going to warn you, I talk fast, so it's hard to keep up. But I've learned to use that, and that's how I power through so many videos, is I use the times 2 setting. And if you don't know where that's at, comment below, and I'll let you know where it's at. All right, peace, humans. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.